Hello, Pencil Pirates! Welcome to the Kung Fu Pencil Guide to Drawing Heads. Now, before we get into the fun stuff, I'd like to do an overview, or is it more of an introduction? Just some of the things to keep in mind while you draw. Now, this video is going to cover the very basics of head construction, so we're not really going to go into too many details on how to draw eyes, noses, mouths. We're mainly just talking about the skull. You know, this chrome dome. Watch me spin. And we'll lay out the tools that you're going to need to be able to draw the head from any angle you want. Even though we're working in 2D space, think of what you're drawing as a 3D object, even for cartooning. I am dead serious. The way I like to draw feels closer to sculpting for me than drawing. I like to feel the volume of what I'm creating, it makes it feel more real. This is especially important for cartooning, but it's often overlooked because the skill on display is not as obvious as if you were drawing a nicely rendered portrait, for example. But it is there. This guide will give you the tools to construct heads on your own, so you can draw whatever characters and whatever angles that you want, original or otherwise. Knowledge is power! Let's get started, shall we? So let's start with some basic proportions. Alright. So we start by sketching a ball. Well, let's say when you're looking at a person's head, a person's eyes go boom, right smack in the middle here. So I always like to draw the ball kind of like half head. And what this ball basically represents is the base where the neck meets the back of the head. So you know the nose line is right in the middle here, pretty much dead center half the width of the head, the nose in the middle. Same with the where the jawline comes up, you got half the head here, boom, boom, jawline is here. What's really cool here is when you come back this way, talking about proportions, here's the half line where the eyes go. So we're breaking things down 50, 50, 50, nose line, sh eye line, sh same thing here. Eye lines about 50%, and that's also kind of where the neck meets the. The reason why I like to do the ball this way, a lot of times you'll see people draw in the backs of their heads will be kind of like flat. So if you make the ball a little smaller so it's not the whole head, then you're not going to get like a weird bloated head. So you know where the eye line is. Now, th this is the cool thing, right? The bottom of the nose here is halfway between the eye line and the chin. Boo. The mouth line is roughly halfway between the nose line and the chin. I always start when I'm drawing head as I do the ball and then I do the chin. Everything sets itself based on that. Now, ears generally, and I say generally because no person's head ever goes exactly to the measurements that you want them to be, right? So you don't have to gather with a tape measure and make sure everything's lined up perfectly. Spaces are not entirely symmetrical. But ears, anyway, roughly go from eye line to nose line like that. Over on the side view, the ears come from this halfway of the ball this is where your jawline is here and your ear, I don't know if I'm, it kind of comes out of that line. It's just a good way to kind of remember it. I always like to kind of put in the brow line, do circles for the bridge of the nose. You can construct the nose as a triangle. This is where the bridge would be. Lips, for the mouth, but I think I'll probably do next in a different video. That's your basic rules of head construction. You can break things down in measurements. Eyes halfway up the head, nose halfway between the eyes and the chin, mouth halfway between the nose and the chin. Ears line up between your eye and your nose, and then the same with the side view. Your ear comes off of that halfway point. You want to be able to construct these guys from any angle you want. So if you want to say, draw a character that's heads down, he's like, I mean, start with a ball. What happens is the camera's like a top-down view of a person's head. It's going to foreshorten the features of the face, right? That means you're going to want to bring the, the chin up real close and it's gonna get a little bit narrower. What happens then is you're gonna have an eye line that's looking down, your nose line's gonna be here, my mouth is like super close to the nose. Again, I'll go in more in depth on like things like eyes and stuff like that in another video, but just so you can see what a person might look like if he's his face is down and he's peering up at you. Maybe he's pissed off, wrinkle the nose a bit, put some rage lines in there. The guy's angry, his roommate ate his leftover Taco Bell, and he's just like, what the, seriously? 
You don't touch another man's Taco Bell. Anyway, same with like uh, if you want to do a low angle. It's the same principle, it's just backward. Everything's going to get closer together. Again, you want to start with the ball, but this time we're looking up. So ball, then jaw, right? See the jaw here? Maybe that's a little... Low angles can be like pretty tricky. It kind of helps to put the neck in, just so you know you have a little bit more context. When you draw the jaw, you're establishing the relationship between the jaw and the top of the head, and then that sort of sets in line where everything else needs to go. Because of that, you know that the eye line is going to be here. Your nose is going to be like, you're going to get these big nostrils sticking up. See how, like, how close my lip gets to the nose? These under jaw lines are hard and you kind of keep working them until they start to look right. You can see it kind of creates, there's a there's a bit of a stretch here. When we draw comics, right, we tend to always make a hard line for the jaw, but in reality it's kind of a soft thing. And as soon as you start to tilt up, you get this, you're going to want to deal with. If you want to work out the chin, you can go ahead and maybe the top of the, the chin here sort of intrudes onto the mouth a bit. Just take my eraser. Never erase kids. Ever. That's what they teach you in school. I erase a ton, I don't care. But then again, I also draw pretty messy. And then I'll just draw a few more. Ball, jaw, I guess I kind of went neck there first. Here I said the eyes are like halfway up and I meant that, but or once you start getting used to not gritting things, then you can do the ball, you do the jaw, and then you do the brow line. Everybody's bald in this video, they're all gonna shiny. Make a Mr. Cleans because Mr. Clean's the man. I draw on paper mostly. I don't draw from scratch on tablets that much. I like the commitment that paper offers. There's too much temptation to noodle with stuff when you draw on digital. There's this other interesting thing here with the side of the face there. You can see it up here too. I kind of drew it in the cheekbones and then the skull line here kind of wraps around and this is flat. You don't really see it so much on the front view. Uh, back of the head, like you want to do like a, I'm so cool. And so I'll just sit here and draw heads, you know? His jaw's a little twisted here, so that's going to move at the bottom of his, it's also going to move his nose, because when you, eh, 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 you know, oh, eh, it just sort of pulls everything. So you have this, pull. Again, Mr. Clean, he's mad. This time he's mad about something else. Probably because his roommate, Mr. Clean's roommate, didn't pick up after himself. First he ate Mr. Clean's Taco Bell. Now, he didn't wash the windows like he's supposed to, so now Mr. Clean's mad. I even gave you the spray and it does all the work for you. All you had to do was spray it and wipe it off, but you didn't do it. And now I'm making this face. Three quarter views. Lay down the ball. Lay down the jaw. I can't believe it was actually that simple, but it really, but it really is. You have to practice getting in the rhythm of constructing your things that way. Draw heads all the time for a while. The inside of your eyes line up with your nostrils here. You can see like her face is kind of smashed in on this side. Ouch. Ball jaw. Ball jaw. Ball jaw. Ball jaw. Uh, if you really think about it, your skull has two basic parts, the dome and the jaw. <laughs> Step one, ball. Step two, jaw. <laughs> this guy's manly. <laughs> shoulder pads. Oh my god, it's Marcus Phoenix. Okay, well, that about does it for today. 
I'd recommend opening your sketchbook and drawing as many heads as you can using this method. And remember, when you're practicing, the act is more important than the result. So try not to get frustrated if the drawings aren't turning out the way you want them to. Just move on to the next one. Quantity over quality, that's what I say. Seriously though, if you draw a ton, the quality will improve on its own. And you'll be able to get all your great ideas down on paper faster. Which will make room in your head for more great ideas. If you like this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. Oh, and uh, check out my comic at surferjoecomic.com. Later, skaters!